This chatbot counter is worth an incredible £10,000, but only if one of today's three players can get their hands on it. Will we have a new champion? It's time to find out on Tipping Point. Hello and welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Rosie, a recruitment consultant from Bristol. I'm Alex, a graphic designer from York. And I'm Leslie, a retired secretary from Essex. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzers. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize. But also the rest of the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, or double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play in round two, but you'll want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game. So keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Right, everybody ready? Yes. Yep. Hands on your buzzers, it comes to your first question. Launched in May 2021, the Walker's Crisps flavours, steak and ale pine tea and hot shot hot dog are inspired by which team sport? Rosie. Football. Yes, they are football inspired flavours. Would you like to play or pass the first counter? I'm going to pass to Alex, please. Oh, Alex, <laughs> it's not ready for Rosie. Let's prove her wrong and see if it's ready for you. Where would you like to put the first one? OK, I can see that double in drop zone one, so I think I might chance my luck with that one, Ben. Let's do it. Drop zone one, please. <laughs> Slow drop. It stays oh, on its edge. come on. Then. I need to go flat. You do want it flat. I think you'll be OK if it does. I'll take you go flat. There you go. Yeah. Flat. Now, hopefully, we can get a couple over the top. Let's see if we can get something out of the bottom as well. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, it just skips not up. Not too bad. Oh. That's not a bad start with the first one. All right. Two counters did drop, though, Alex. All right. Well done. £100. Pounds. Never easy with the first counter. So that's not a bad result. Let's put it into your bank, and you've still got two counters left to play. Here's your next question. A babushka is an item of clothing traditionally worn by elderly Russian women over which part of the body and tied under the chin? Leslie. Head. It is the head, yes. Now then, Leslie, would you like to play or would you like to pass? Um, I'll play. OK, where are you going to go? One. Drop zone one for Leslie, please. Right then, Leslie, let's see if we can get you some money. Double's getting closer. Right. OK, timing wasn't great, but he no. got away with it. That's all right, you got away with it. What are we going to get here for you, Leslie? Something nice. That would be good, wouldn't it? Here's a couple over the top shelf. That little silver one going to go. Oh, come on, come ah. on. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just the one counter, Leslie. Yes. 50 pounds, though. Better than nothing. Let's yes. take that from the machine. And let's put it into your bank. It gets you off the mark for 50 pounds, and you've still got two counters left. Here's your next question. In 2021, which Canadian singer songwriter won 10 Billboard Music Awards and performed Rosie? Justin Bieber. And performed Save Your Tears during the ceremony. It's not Justin Bieber, it was The Weekend, Rosie. You've got that wrong, so we steal a counter from you. That's going into the pencil spot. You'll all get a chance to play for that at the end of the round. Next question. The monument called Nelson's Column stands in which London Square? Rosie. Trafalgar Square. It is Trafalgar Square, no problem with that one. Are you going to play? I'm going to play, and there's a few counts on the edge of Drop Zone 1, so I'll go for Drop Zone 1, Let's please. Let's do it. Fire up one for Rosie, please. Came back to the silver counters. Hopefully, we can get that flat for you, Rosie. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Brilliant. Yeah, very good. Now, will you be able to slide something out here? Just, yes, and there you go. That's the black counter. On Leslie the left is yeah, yours. She's got my counter, Rosie. Oh! <laughs> but the rest are now teasing you, Rosie. <sighs> One counter did drop, though. That draws you level with Leslie. £50 goes into your bank. And you've still got one counter left to play. Next question. 
In May 2021, the discarded cigar butt that sold at auction for more than £4,000 had previously belonged to which British Prime Minister of the 1940s? Alex. Winston Churchill. And 50s, it was Churchill's cigar butt. Uh, Alex, are you going to play this time? Drop zone one, I think it's got a few that might just fall there, so I'm going to give that one a go. Let's go for it. Drop zone one, please. Ones and two so far dropping. Are you going to finally get a nice drop here, Alex? Hope so. Yeah. Oh, that feels Ooh. better, doesn't it? Fingers crossed. Yeah, there oh, we wow. go. Brilliant. Well Brilliant. Happy with that. Yeah. Eight across tipping point for you there, Alex. Four hundred pounds. Very nice drop. Let's take it and put it into your bank. It's going to leave you Thank on five hundred pounds, and you've still got one counter left. Brilliant. Here's your next question, guys. In the 2017 film sequel, an egotistical actor played by Hugh Grant frames which fictional Peruvian bear for the crime... Rosie. Paddington bear. For the crime of stealing a pop-up book. It is Paddington, yes. Well done. Rosie, are you going to play this last counter of yours or would you like Alex to play his or Leslie one of hers? I'll pass to Alex, please. Right, Alex, your last counter's going in. Where do you want to put it? I'm going to try drop zone one again. You're going to stay with it. Fire up one, please. Didn't want it that side. Not ideal, necessarily. Yeah. You're going to just shift the black uh, one over. There you go, filling that top um, shelf. So nothing from that drop. That's all three of your counters used. Alex, okay. you've got £500. For the time being, you are out. Rosie, you've got one left. Leslie, you've got two. Next question for you two. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter is a US spacecraft designed to map the surface of which celestial body that orbits... Rosie. The moon. Orbits the Earth. It is the moon. Ready to play yet, Rosie, or would you like Leslie's play? I think I'm going to pass again to Leslie. I don't think it's quite ready yet. Right then, Leslie, where should we put um, your counter? Drop zone two, then, for Leslie. Let's do drop zone two for Leslie. <laughs> okay, Leslie. Mm, it stays on its stays edge. Flat. Hopefully, it'll go flat. There we go. Yes. Nicely done. Can we get some over the top, Leslie? Not been into two yet, so there's plenty in there. If you can get it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's the one fell too deep. Just nudge and shuffle the tipping point a touch. Leslie, you've got one counter left. Okay. Next question for Rosie and for Leslie. Puzzlewood, located in the Forest of Dean in Gloucestershire, is said to have inspired the J.R.R. Tolkien book series, The Lord of the What? Leslie. Rings. The Lord of the Rings is right. Now, would you like to play Leslie or would you like to pass to Rosie? Um, no, I'll play too. Drop zone two. Let's yes, do it. Fire it up, please. <laughs> Just stayed on its edge. <laughs> is that black counter going to cause oh. you a problem? It's your last one. Yes, it is. Oh. It's riding. Might just slide around it, I think. A little no. nudge, but nothing more. So, no. wasted counter, I'm afraid. You stay on £50. That's all three of yours used now, Leslie. For the time being, you are out. Rosie, it's just you left in, because it's just you. Don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine. Yeah. Here we go, then, Rosie. Mary of Tech was the wife of which British monarch who reigned from 1910 to 1936? Henry VIII. <laughs> 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 he was a king, back. at least, wasn't yeah. he? Uh, it was George V. George V is what we were after, so we had to steal your last counter, Rosie. Yep. That goes into the penalty pot. So as things stand, Alex has £500. Leslie and Rosie both have £50 each, but it's not over. We have two counters up for grabs in the penalty pot. I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you'll put both these counters into the machine. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Good luck to all of you. Here comes your penalty pot question. When spelled out in English and ordered numerically, what is the first whole number that contains the letter X. Alex. Six. It is six. Well done. Took a bit of working out that one. <laughs> yeah, you got there in the end and you get both those counters. Gosh. So where do you want to put them? Uh, there's a little bit on the bottom shelf, I think, of drop zone two, so I'm going to go for that one, please. Drop zone two it is. OK, there's a couple being left on the top shelf there. Bottom's been shuffled as well. Ooh, four across the top shelf. All right. Oh, oh wow. sweet stuff. Well <laughs> done, Alex. Wasn't expecting that. Really? Nine counters. Really lovely first penalty spot counter. That's £450. Put that into the machine. 
And you've got one more to go in. Alex, where would you like to go with this one? Uh, I think I'm going to stick with drop zone two. I think there's another couple maybe that could fall there. OK, drop zone two again, please. Oh, just oh. one settle for you. Is it going to ride? Hopefully not. No. Ooh. A couple on yeah. that side, isn't there, that could yeah, go? Yeah, kind of in the right place. Yeah, there we go. That little that counter going to go down for you. Ooh. Oh, oh going to live to fight oh, another drop. <laughs> First one was very nice, though. Let's take that from the machine, put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Alex is leading with £950. Both Rosie and Leslie have £50 each. So join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head to head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Alex, Rosie and Leslie are battling it out for the right to play for today's chatbot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will win them a count as play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. Uh, Alex, you are leading after round one, so you get to choose. If you think the machine's ready, you could play first. Alternatively, you could ask Rosie or Leslie to play. I think I'm going to play, please, Ben. Right, 45 seconds for okay. you, Alex. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass again. Yeah. 45 seconds for Alex, please. Your time starts now. The city of Inverness is located in which country of the UK? Scotland. Correct. Which US sitcom that first aired in 1994 famously features a New York coffee shop called Central Perk? Friends. Correct. The Old Huntsman and Counterattack are works by the World War I poet Siegfried who? Sassoon. Correct. In Hinduism, which of the three gods in the Trimurti is referred to as the creator of the universe? Pass. Brahma. Which poultry product follows the word bad in a common phrase you describe an unreliable or dishonest person? Egg. Correct. What is the first name of the German Chancellor who married Ulrich Merkel in 1977? Angela. Correct. In the Spider-Man comics series, which newspaper does Peter Parker work for? Pass. The Daily Bugle. The designs of which British ceramics company founded in 1985 include black toast, polka dot and pink hearts? Uh, any Don't idea? Know. Emma Sorry. Bridgewater. Uh, Alex, you've got five correct answers. Okay. Very nicely done. Five counters to put into okay. the machine, which is a really good return. So where do you want to start? Um, I think drop zone two is looking good, so I think I'm going to give that one a go to start with. Let's have drop zone two. So there's a nice cluster on the right and the yeah. left. Ooh. Is that going to be this flat, though? Settle. Yes. Yeah. Could get a couple more here. There's a few into three you might get a little look at. If they push laterally. OK. Oh, there oh, you go. Well <laughs> Five across the tipping point for you, Very Alex. Good. £250. Oh, pounds. Brilliant. Four more to go in, Alex. Where next? I think I'll stick with drop zone two again, please. Two again, please. <laughs> Looks like it's more on the left, doesn't it, the action now? There you go, nice. Ooh, ah. the top shelf is going to need a bit more help there. Where do you want to put the next one? Uh, I think I'll stick with drop zone two. It'd be nice to get that mystery down onto the, uh, Bottom the shelf. shelf. Two again, please. <laughs> so we hit the right hand side this yeah. time. Might drag the middle counters through. Yeah, so one goes over. We're going to give it. Three counters oh. drop in for you, another £150. Takes you up to £400 in the machine. Two more to go in, Alex. OK, I think I might give drop zone one a go. OK, let's go back to drop zone one, please. Top shelf looks good. Double's not far either, is it, if it's on the right? Ooh, slower drop uh, for you, though. Yeah. What can we get here? It's going to be flat. Oh, oh, yes, it is, yeah. Uh, silver one will come down. Hopefully, there's a couple on the tipping point that could get close. Yeah, there you go. Hundred pounds for those two. Brilliant. Five hundred pounds in the machine. One more to go in, Alex. Okay. Uh, I think uh, a few still teetering on the edge of drop zone one, so I'm going to uh, stick with that. One again, please. Can you get this 
down that right hand side. Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> now no might that That's ride true. as well. Oh, it's flat, you're okay. Maybe get a couple more if that black counter comes down on the left. There you go. And is the tip point gonna go? Yeah, oh, two more for you there, Alex. For another 100 pounds. So 600 in total. Let's take that from the machine. Put it into your bank. And that's going to leave you on £1,550. Very nicely done. Right then, Rosie and Leslie, you both have £50 each. But, Rosie, by virtue of the fact that you answered a question before Leslie in the last round, you get to choose. Would you like to play next or would you like Leslie to play before you? There's still a few on the edge of drop zone one, so I'm going to play first. Then. Right then, Rosie, here we go. 45 seconds for Rosie, please. Your time starts now. When referring to speed, the abbreviation KPH typically stands for kilometres per watt. Hour. Correct. Which Manchester-based Premier League football team lost to Villarreal in the 2021 Europa League final? Manchester City. United. Which Spice Girl has played a lead role in a West End production of the musical Blood Brothers? Emma Bunton. Mel C. What is the official currency of the Asian country Turkmenistan? Pass. The Manat. A chipolata is a variety of which processed pork product? Sausage. Correct. Since 1986, Chris Chittle has played the character Eric Pollard in which ITV soap set in the Yorkshire Dales? Emmerdale. Correct. What is the highest decoration for bravery that is awarded to civilians in the UK? Pass. The George Cross. Which British comedy actor and presenter wrote the 2000 novel The Stars Tennis Balls? Stephen Fry. Oh, Rosie, three correct answers in there. Right, we've got three counters here, Rosie. What you want to do is try and get as much distance between you and Leslie as possible. Maybe close that gap on Alex as yep. much as you can too. So where would you like to go? There's still that double in drops in mm. one, so I'm going to go with drops in one, please, Ben. Let's target one, please. There you go. It's flat. That's on the right-hand side for the first yeah. time. Yeah, do well. There's a few on the edge. Come on now. Yes. Oh, well, they've separated two, which helps. Going to oh. drag it very close. Oh. Oh. OK, so it's right there on the edge for you, Rosie. Yeah. You've got two more to go in. I'll try to drop zone one again. Let's please, have ben. one, please, for Rosie. Same spot will be lovely, Rosie. Yeah, hopefully on that right-hand side. Oh. Not quite. A little bit... Get that black one over. Yeah, a bit of lateral. Can we get anything on the double? A little nibble. 50 pounds drops in. One more to go, Rosie. Might as well stay with it. I'll stick with drop zone one, please, Ben. Drop zone one. Fire it up, please. Are you going to get it or are you going to leave it for Leslie? Which side's it going to go? Oh, it's the right-hand side. Yeah. Should, be Should hopefully good. get some over. Hopefully. There you go. Oh, oh nice. Oh. This could be really good if the double goes two. Is the double going to go? It does. Oh, oh, Rosie, yeah. what a drop. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting so that at all. <laughs> I imagine your heart was in your mouth yeah, then, it Rosie. Was. <laughs> That's 11 more across the tipping point. Just what you needed. Yeah. A big 550 pound <laughs> drop. But one of them is the double. So we can double it up and give you another 550 pound. And suddenly your score looks a lot healthier. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on 1,200 pounds. Very yeah. well done. Thank you. Right then, Leslie, we come to you. 45 seconds for Leslie, please. Your time starts now. The wooden shoes known as clogs are designed to be worn on which parts of the body? Feet. Correct. In 2018, the TV series Chilling Adventures of Sabrina was released on which online streaming service in the UK? Pass. Netflix. In which indoor sport do players compete for the Jockey Wilson Memorial Cup? Badminton? Darts. Henry I served the majority of his reign as the King of England during which century? Henry I, um... Which century? 13th. 12th. In the UK, what is the smallest denomination of coin currently in circulation? Um... Smallest coin... I can't think. Um... No, Leslie! Oh. It's the one penny, isn't it? One P coin. Leslie, you got one correct oh, answer. No. I'm sorry. It is intense, isn't it? It's it really is. tough when it you're is. up against it. It is. So it means you've got one counter. One counter. All you need right. is 23 to catch Rosie. So what do you fancy um, doing with this one, Leslie? On four, please. Let's ben. do it. Fire up, drop yes. zone four, please. Oh, Leslie. Oh. Let's get it down. It, it is it flat. It is flat. 
So it is flat. Can we finish with something here, Leslie? One last hurrah. Couple over the top. Anything from the bottom. Go, 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 go. Yeah, well done. You managed to get three out of the machine. Sadly, it's not going to be enough, Leslie, yeah. but let's take that £150, put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Alex is leading with £1,550, just ahead of Rosie, who has £1,200. Leslie, I'm so sorry you've been fab, but with £200, we have found your tip point. Thank you for playing. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. So it is Rosie and Alex who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Rosie and Alex. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to be taking on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be our winner. They'll be playing for the jackpot. Alex, you are ahead. There's only seven counters in it, so not a lot, but it does mean you get to choose. Do you like the first question or would you like to offer it to Rosie? I'll go for the first question. Okay, please. first one for you, Alex. The Oscar-winning actress Jane Wyman was the first wife of which US president? You can pass this to Rosie if you're not sure. I really would not be confident on this at all, so I'm going to pass this one to Rosie. Right, Rosie, does it ring any bells for you? No, not So at she all. was an Oscar-winning actress. She was the first wife of which US president? Um, I think I'm going to have a guess at John F. Kennedy. OK, Alex, who might you have gone for? I was thinking possibly Ronald Reagan, because he was an actor as well. Possibly uh, Reagan. I don't know if he had a first wife before Nancy. So. Yeah, let's see Not if sure. you're right, Rosie. Is the answer John F. Kennedy? <laughs> that was Ronald Reagan. Oh, really? Right, yeah. Oh, so, I Jane Wyman was his that. first wife and then married Nancy. Uh, but you get the counter anyway. Hard luck, Rosie. Where should we go? OK, um, I think Drop Zone 2 looks good at the moment. So, I'll go for that, please. Drop Zone 2, please. Yes, mm. stayed on its edge, didn't it? Is that going to be flat? No, oh, it's no. not. It's riding. Not what you needed, not so really. I don't think you'll get any action here. No, you won't. Oh, nothing mm. for you there, Alex. Right, no, Rosie, no. we come to you. Time for your first question. Which country is always first in line at the parade of athletes in the Summer Olympic Games opening ceremony? You can pass this to Alex if you're not sure. I think I'm going to pass this one, Ben. Passing over. OK. Yeah. Alex, what do you think? Um, I was thinking, could it be the first alphabetically or...? But I'm going to go, I think, with Greece, just because they've got a big history. I think they started the Olympics. So, so you're going to start with Greece. Greece? Yeah, what do you think, Rosie? I would have gone with maybe Albania. Albania. So you would have gone this first one, alphabetically. Like OK, think, yeah. so that was your question. Is it alphabetical or mm. did you go with the historic part of it? Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Greece? Yeah, oh, it is wow. Greece, because of their role as the originators yeah. of the games. And alphabetically, it would be Afghanistan. But, you know, yeah. it's one of those things, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? Where'd you go? <laughs> Alex, well done. That's a great answer. So okay. You steal Rosie's counter. Where do you want to put it? Uh, I think I'm going to go for drop zone two again, please, Ben. OK, let's have two again. No riders, Alex. Hopefully not. There you go. That's, That's a bit harder. better. Nice quick drop. Settles well. Couple over the top. OK. Oh, could get a few here. Ah, ooh. Oh, they're just going to perch on the edge. One counter did drop for you, though. So yeah. you steal £50. Let's take it, put it into your bank. It's going to put you on £1,600. And you keep control. It's time for your second question. The 2021 documentary, subtitled 10 Years and a Lovely Bit of Squirrel, is a celebration of which Channel 4 sitcom? Uh... I know this one. It's one of my favourite programmes, actually. I've, I've actually just watched the whole entire six series, I think it is. Uh, it's uh, Friday Night Dinner. Friday Night Dinner. Rosie, you're nodding along. Yeah, Friday Night Dinner. You'd have gone with that yeah. as well. I think we're all fans. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Friday Night Dinner? Yeah, absolutely right. And isn't it great? Alex, you get another count. Where should we put it? I think I'm going to go for Drop Zone 3, please. OK, let's change it up Hope slightly. it goes to the left. We're going to go for Drop Zone 3, please. Still very close between you. There's lots of counters. 
Didn't to be pilfered. Oh, didn't uh, go left on right. three. It's gone Never right. Mind. We've not been here before, so it might be tricky to get anything out down that side. Oh, but you oh. did manage. Well done. £100 right. drops in. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And it's going to put you on £1,700. And control comes to you, Rosie. Time for your second question. The market town of Bradford-on-Avon is located in which historic English county? I've been there a few times on school trips and things like that. Um, so I think I'm going to play, because I think Alex will know. Um, and I believe it's Warwickshire. Then. You're going with Warwickshire. OK. So, Alex, had Rosie passed this to you, what might you have I said? I think I would have said Somerset, possibly. I thought it was more West Country. So, Rosie, Bradford-on-Avon. Let's see if you're right or I'm confusing it with something else. Oh. Is it in Warwickshire? No, it's in Wiltshire, actually. Oh. You're not far away. Bradford on Avon, the River Avon. Yeah. I think you're confusing it with Stratford upon yeah, Avon. Yeah, that's exactly what I was which confusing is up in Warwickshire. with. Yeah. Oh, Rosie, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alex, you get the counter, though. Where do you want to okay. put it? Uh, I think I'm going to stick with drop zone three, please, Ben. Fire up three, please. Didn't want to settle for you. He might uh, bring the mystery down, though. That'd be nice. There we go. Can we get something over the top shelf, Alex? There's a yeah. couple on the bottom that look ready to go too. There you go. Ooh. They flip over nicely. Ooh, Ooh. Oh, nothing nice. drops, Rosie, so no damage done. Yep. Do keep control, though, Alex. Time for your okay. third and final question. In the human body, what is the name of the outermost layer of the skin? I think I've got an idea. I'm not 100% certain. What about Rosie? Uh, I don't know. I think Rosie might have an idea. I'm going to say the epidermis. You're going to go with it? Yeah. You're going with epidermis. Now then, Rosie, do you have any ideas? I wasn't 100% sure, but I would have said epidermis. Epidermis then. might have been yours. OK, Alex, let's see if you've done the right thing. Okay. The name of the outermost layer of the skin in the human body, is it the epidermis? Yes, then the dermis, then the hypodermis. Okay. Well done, Alex. You're right to go for it. Where do you want to go? Um, I think drop zone three is looking like it could pay out, so I'm going to go for that, please. Let's try three, please. Pretty central again. Is the top shelf going to go? Oh, yeah, it's not top shelf. Oh, oh no, it's not. Yeah. Rosie, you've still got a chance. We need this counter, though. Control passes to you. Yeah. Time for your third and final question. Which veteran British rock musician had a UK number one album in May 2021 with Fat Pop? I'm going to have to pass it, Ben, because I'm not sure. You're not sure? Passing over. Alex, does it ring any bells for you? Uh, the album doesn't at all. Um, I'm just thinking veteran rock musicians could be... The, the only one that really springs to mind is Rod Stewart, so I'm going to say Rod Stewart. You're going to go with Rod Stewart. Yeah. What do you think, Rosie? Rod Stewart? It crossed my mind, but I wasn't sure. It crossed your mind. You didn't want to take the risk. No. Should you have gone for it? If you're right, Alex, you steal this last counter. You can't be beaten. If you're wrong, Rosie's got one last chance. The number one album, May 2021, Fat Pop. Was it by Rod Stewart? It's Paul Weller. Oh, it right. was Paul okay. Weller. So, Rosie, you've got a counter. One last chance. One last chance. What can we get? We need ten from the machine. Where are you going to get ten? What looks good? I'm torn between drop zone two and three, but I think there's slightly more in drop zone three, so I'm going to go for, for drop zone three, please, Ben. Let's do it. Fire up three, please. Can you get close to Alex? Can you catch him? It's nicely timed. Ooh. That's not a bad position, is it? Looks good. We need something over the top. A couple over the edge there. Oh, yes, just. They flip. Is the tipping point going to go? Enough. Let's get the knee close. Rosie, we needed ten to catch Alex. That's seven, I'm oh. afraid. You've just come up short. £350 is what you get from the machine. It's put it into your bank. You see just how close it is. 
But at the end of the round, Alex, with £1,700. Very well done. Thank you. are today's well winner. Thank you, Ben. Played a really good game. Congratulations, Steve. Rosie, you battled hard, but yes. with £1,550, <laughs> we have found your top point. Thank you for playing. Thanks, Ben. I've had a great day. It's been lovely to meet Thank you. Thank you. So, Alex, as our champion, in a few yeah. moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. This one's bigger and better than all the others, because if you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. And we still have a double counter in the top shelf of Drop Zone 4. You can get the two to go together, Alex. You'd leave you twenty thousand pounds. That'd be very nice. Can Alex master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to the final part of tipping point. Alex is our winner today and has managed to get one thousand seven hundred pounds. Well done. Can't believe it. So you've seen off all the others, and now it's just you, the machine, and the chance to get our jackpot counter out, Alex. Have you thought about what you might like to do with the money? Uh, I think probably some home improvements. Lovely, uh, OK. Because we've been in our house now for 10 years. Yeah. And, you know, things started to get a little bit worn out. We sure. could do with a new bathroom. It'd be yeah. nice somewhere just to chill and relax in a nice, nice bath. That'd be really special. Well, fingers crossed. We okay. can get you that jackpot counter because it'd be lovely to send you home so you can do the house up. That'd be really great. Time to find out whether Alex is going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. If you fancy getting home with £20,000, we've left a double counter on the top shelf of Drop Zone 4. See if you can get them to fall together, Alex. OK. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two or three counters into the machine. The more you play four, the harder the question's going to be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. I'm sure you know how it works. Yes. Right then, what about our jackpot counter? Whereabouts do you fancy putting it into the machine? I think, well, there's that double in Drop Zone 4, and there's also a mystery prize as there well, so do. Drop Zone 4 seems like the obvious one, so I'll go for that. that. Let's do it. Fire up four, please. So be ready for this one, Alex, because okay. it likes to make an entrance. Ooh, look at that, very nice. Not it's good. Gonna... in the middle. Slide up and just snuggle up to the double. Oh, oh. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, very. Okay, just the one counter gone into port so far. The mystery's got close. We'll take those yeah. two. hundred pounds for you. Takes up to one thousand eight hundred pounds. There's a lot of money we can collect as we go, but most importantly, you've got that jackpot counter nice and flat, and it's just next to the double. Good. Great start. Right, let's have a look at your categories. We have literature, TV, hobbies, geography, science, and musicals. You can play them in any order you like. So when you're ready, where do you want to start? How many counters? I think I'm just going to go top to bottom. Lovely. Uh, so I'll start with the literature. I'm going to go for three, why not? Literature for three. The celebrated poem, The Charge of the Light Brigade, is by which former poet laureate? Carol Ann Duffy, Cecil Day Lewis, or Alfred Lord Tennyson? Do you know of the poem? Uh, I've heard of it. I couldn't recite it. <laughs> um, it's going to be probably a bit of a guess, to be honest. I think just because this is the one I've heard of, I'm going to go for Alfred Lord Tennyson. Tennyson? Yeah. We're going to light up Tennyson, please. The Charge of the Light Brigade, it was written by a former poet laureate. Was it written by Alfred Lord Tennyson? Oh, yes. Well done. Good. Fantastic stuff. Great answer. And three counters to get you started. OK. Job zone four. Nice. Let's do it. Fire up, please. Yes, please. Oh, that's right oh. on it to get you started. Very that's nice. Really lovely right start. No, oh, double and a lot more over. Goodness. Very nice. <laughs> 15 across the tipping wow. point. <laughs> what a fabulous drop. Happy with that. Up to £2,550. The mystery fell in as well. You've won yourself a mm. prize. Oh, bottomless brunch for two people, courtesy of bruncher.com. Oh, that sounds lovely. Sounds really lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Double's gone down to the bottom shelf. We've got the jackpot moving already, and you've still got two more to put in as well. OK. Drop some four again. Uh, yes, please. Fire it up. There's not much on the top no, shelf. Is there? Crucially, where we have got one is right behind the jackpot, which is ah. what we want. OK. Drop zone four again? Uh, yes, please. Fire it up, please. Oh, that's, oh, that's on it as well. Yeah, that settles. Oh, it just moves it sideways. It's just a little empty, isn't it, unfortunately? Going in the right direction. Yeah, still going there and peeking over the top, isn't it? 
Okay, good start. Let's go back okay. to the categories. As we head down the list, TV's next. Uh, I'll try three again for TV. TV for three. Which comedian provides the voice for Mrs. Crocodile in the children's TV series Peppa Pig? Miranda Hart, Joe Brand, or Kathy Burke? I, I'm a big fan of Kathy Burke. I think she's great, but I don't recall having heard her voice in it. I like Joe Brand as well, and I don't think I've heard her voice in it. Miranda Hart, loved the sitcom. I think Miranda sounds like she would have the voice for doing a crocodile, Mrs. Crocodile. So. <laughs> I'm going to go with Miranda. Miranda Hart? Yeah. We're going to load up Miranda Hart. She's snappy enough, is that what yeah. you're saying? That's what you're saying. Mrs. Crocodile in Peppa Pig, is it voiced by Miranda Hart? Oh, Joe Brand. Really? Yeah, it was Joe Brand. There you go. I didn't know that. My boy's a bit too old for Peppa Pig now. <laughs> Let's go back to the categories. OK. Still in really good shape. Hobbies is next. Uh, I'll try three again for hobbies. Hobbies for three. How many pieces are on the board in total at the start of a standard game of backgammon? 24, 30 or 36? I can honestly say I've never played backgammon in my life. No. No. Oh, it's a great game. It's a really good game. Mm. I don't think it's... 30, because I, I would say if there are two players, it's got to be divisible by two. And 15 wouldn't line up neatly on the board, I don't think. So okay. I'm going to Do you know what the board looks 30. like? 30. I think it's got, has it got zigzags on it? OK, sort of zigzags. Mm. Um, so I think it's between 24 and So you think, it, yeah, OK, so there'd be even number between yeah. each player. I'm going to go for 36. 36? Yeah. yeah. Bit of a guess. Should we line it up? Yeah, please. We're going with 36. Yeah. Total pieces at the start of a game. Is it 36? Oh, 30. 15 oh, really? white, oh. 15 black. So you have those sort of arrows, don't you, that face each other and you sort of have to move your pieces around the board yeah. to the other side and get them off the board before the opponent I don't, opponent yeah, I don't does want it. to play it now. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's go back to the categories. We're halfway. We've got geography next. Uh, geography for three, please, Ben. All right, geography for three. Which of these terms is defined as a crater formed by the collapse of a volcano after an explosive eruption? A chimera, a curandera, or a caldera? Right. It's between... Oh, between chimera or caldera. I know caldera is definitely a part of a volcano. I'm going to go for chimera. Chimera? Yeah, please. Light up chimera, please. So, you said caldera you think is definitely part of the volcano. Yeah. But you've gone with chimera. Any reason why? Uh, I think caldera is some kind of dome I've got in my mind. Right. So, um, yeah, that's why I've... So we're looking for the term that defines a crater that's formed by an explosive volcano eruption. Is the answer chimera? <laughs> caldera. Oh! Nearly went for it. <laughs> uh, a curandera is a, a herb doctor. The chimera is a fish. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> uh, Nothing to do with volcanoes, then. OK, not to worry. We can still okay. do this, but we yeah. need to start getting these counters to get that jackpot mm. moving. When we get them in, and we've only put three in, we can see where we get. We've got science and musicals. I'm going to have to go for three on science. Right, trust yourself. Come on, then, Alex. Yeah. Science for three. In which of these fields was Marie Curie not awarded a Nobel Prize? Chemistry, peace or physics? Uh, Have you heard I, of Marie Curie? Yeah, I'm sure she had something to do with chemistry. So I would say she could potentially have had an award for chemistry or physics, but I don't know if she had an award for peace. Or did she? My gut instinct was peace, so I'm going to go for peace. Peace? Yeah. We're going with peace, then? So you think she was a scientist? Yeah. So that would make sense, chemistry, physics. So the one she didn't get, was it the Nobel Peace Prize? Yes. Physics in 1903, she got the chemistry prize in 1911. Yeah, absolutely good. Right, right drop zone four. Uh, yes, please. Fire up four, please. Right, come on. Let's see if we can get this jackpot moving again. Okay, stop there, stop there, stop there. Please be flat. Yeah, please, please be flat. Oh, no. 
Might get a little sneaky nudge on it. Mm, no, certainly mm, no. Okay, not nothing really. from that one. Two more nothing to go right. in. Four again? Okay. Uh, yes, please. Light it up, please. Come on, Alex, let's get it down. Okay, stop. Stop. B flat. Mm. Yeah. That's better. Now, if it squeezes that help. silver one, I think it will send it over. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Yes! There we go. Ooh, go alongside the double. We'll have that. Lovely, yeah. well done. Four across the tipping point for you there. Okay. 200 pounds. Up to 2,750 pounds. One more to go in. Okay, uh, drop zone four, please, man. Let's have four again. So we might need to put one right behind that silver one mm. and just fill the shelf up. Right, slide right. into the gap. Just like that. Lovely. Okay, okay great. Mm. When we get the counters, it moves, Alex. <laughs> Keep the counters coming. Let's go back to the categories. Musicals. <laughs> Not a fan of musicals. No. Um, I think I'm going to have to try for three. Let's Why go not? for it. We need well, it now. Three for all the others. Why we not? need three as well, <laughs> yeah. don't we? Musicals for three, please. Which award-winning musical features the songs Hello, 2x2 two two, and Making Things Up Again? The Book of Mormon, Hamilton, Avenue Q. Have you right. seen any of them? I've seen none of them. Um, Do you know of them? I know of, I know of the Book of Mormon. Um, I think that was from the guys who did South Park. Um, so it could potentially be that. I'm not sure. I don't know much about Hamilton. I think Avenue Q's got puppets in it. Um, I think, because the Book of Mormon is a, it's probably a little bit of a comedy one, so making things up again sounds like it could be something comedic. I'm going to go for the Book of Mormon. Should we light it up? Yes, please. We're going with the Book of Mormon. So not your favourite no, subject. Not really. You're not really into them. So have we found the right answer? Is the answer Book of Mormon? Yeah, you're wow. absolutely right. That was a lucky guess. <laughs> well, you worked out brilliantly. Right, we've got three counters here for you, Alex. Okay. Drop zone four. Definitely drop zone four, please. Light it up, please. Come on, Alex. Yeah. Let's just bring that jackpot forward. Okay, so might not get to the jackpot, but if the black counter comes down. Go on now. Oh, they've separated and they're spreading Ooh. together, Alex. Oh, hello. That was a bit of movement on it. it. Yeah, all right. and the double. Yeah, wow. Three counters, 150 pounds. Let's put it in. Okay. Takes us up to 2,900 pounds. Two more to go. Drop zone four, please, Four babe. again, please. Now, this time we want to hit the black counter. Bring the jackpot forward. It. If it goes flat, don't do that to us now. Not now, not now, not now, machine. Oh, oh machine! No. Mm. Okay, mm. one more. Okay, yep, drop zone four, please. Let's have four again. Hit that black counter just off the left of centre, Alex. Come on, machine, please. Oh, wow. Now, if that moves the silver one, with a bit of lateral. Oh, no. no. Fills the shelf up. We're at 2,900 pounds. We're out of questions and categories, Alex, but it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with 10,000 pounds. Maybe even 20,000 pounds. As things stand, you've got 2,900. You can walk away with that money right now, or you could trade it for three final counters to put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, you'll keep your mystery prize, but nothing else has any value. So you live with 10,000 pounds, maybe £20,000, or you leave it nothing at all. The question for you, Alex, is would three be enough? I think it potentially could, but I don't think it's guaranteed, so I'm going to take the money, Ben. OK, I'll ask you one last time. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the money, please. Well done, Alex. £2,900. Very nice amount of money. Absolutely. I'm sure we'll go some way to tidying up the house and doing Definitely, a few bits and yeah. pieces, which would be great stuff. 
The question is, and it was uh, moving so nicely, would three counts have been enough had you been willing not. to take the risk? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Drop one. OK, that's going to move double. Is the double going to go down? Oh, no, would that have taken that out of the equation? That would have taken that out of the equation. OK. Drop two. Oh, it's not a million miles no, away, is it? Not. I think it might be too far right, though, unless that pushes the silver one. That's going to slide alongside it again. OK. This was the third and final drop. Oh, now that's closer to it, but... Oh, it's flat. Oh, it's, oh, it's going to get close. Yeah. I don't think it's going to go, though. I don't think it is. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Three counts would have got it that fraction closer, yeah. but it didn't go. You made the right decision. Definitely. How yes. does that feel? Uh, it's fantastic, absolutely brilliant. Totally made up. Thank well you. Well done. Ben. £2,900. And you've also won a bottomless brunch as well. Yeah, lovely. I've had great fun playing alongside you, Alex. Thank you so much for coming Thank and taking you, ben. part. Great to meet you. And you. There you go. Alex is leaving with £2,900 and one of our lovely prizes. Can't send him home with the jackpot counter because even with the trade, it wouldn't have come out. It's still there in the machine. Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. <laughs>